Over the past few years, we have been lucky enough to witness the development of such a huge range of subjects and disciplines, finding out more and filling in the blanks as we steadily answer more and more questions. So today, here at Unexplained Mysteries, we will be taking a look at three recent discoveries over a range of subject areas. Scientist claims world's oldest pyramid is hidden in an Indonesian mountain. The prominent Indonesian mountain, called Gunung Padang, is impressive in its own right, but based on recent analysis, scientists believe that there might be even more to this incredible mountain than meets the eye. Indonesian scientists studying the area conducted extensive investigations of the insides of the mountain, with a particular focus on the strange and distinctive pyramid-like hill at its peak. Using radar, x-ray, drilling, excavations, 2D and 3D imaging, researchers analyzed the topography and underground formations of the mountain and concluded that not only did there appear to be a labyrinth of stone structures under the earth, but that this formation was likely one of the world's oldest pyramids. The structure, which scientists believe was a temple of some sort, expands far beyond the superficial pyramid that lies hidden under the ground at the peak of Gunung Padang. The complex formation extends down several layers, stretches over 150,000 square meters, and appears to have been added to by many different civilizations over millennia. The analysis of the tests revealed that the top layer consists of stepped terraces made of basalt rocks interspersed with stone walks, paths, and courtyard-type spaces. The top layer alone is estimated to be between 3,000 and 3,500 years old. The second and third layers were predicted to be between 7,500 and 8,300 years old, with the third over 9,000 years old. Some estimates even place the third layer, which lies deeply hidden at over 15 meters below the surface, at up to 28,000 years old. If these scientists' interpretation of the research is confirmed, it would mean that the eroding and unobtrusive earth of Gunung Padang is not actually a simple mountain, but the earth-covered remnants of an impressive and ancient pyramid complex that sits at the top of the hill and wraps around almost the entire mountain. However, there are still some that do not agree with this research and believe that the rock configurations that lie several meters below the surface, which the scientists believe to be paths and structures, are in fact just natural rock formations. The other layers have only been analyzed through techniques that attempt to peer below meters of rock and earth, and as such, the conclusions reached by the researchers is viewed by some as flawed and based on an unconvincing interpretation. However, if excavations determine that the conclusions are indeed valid, the structure is incredibly unique and was likely used as a religious temple that could offer insight about what the ancient Indonesians were capable of building and give a glimpse into their culture and how they lived. The confirmed existence of such a sprawling temple under the mountain as potentially the oldest pyramid in the world would also challenge the knowledge that historians have about the technological development of the region and the values and capabilities of the ancient people who lived there. For now, however, it remains to be seen whether these awesome claims can be validated, and the researchers working on the project must conduct much more extensive analysis to verify their claims once and for all. The Discovery of Amazonian Warriors from spectacular headdresses and spears to tales of fearless Amazonian women, we all no doubt know the myths and legends about these warriors, but now there is also evidence backing the actual existence of real-life Amazonian warriors. A dig in the eastern region of Voronezh, Russia, has extraordinarily unearthed a cluster of ancient burial pits containing what archaeologists believe to be four Amazonian women buried alongside their traditional headdresses and spears. It is further speculated that these women were nomadic Scythian warriors who originated from southern Russia. The four skeletons were found buried in groups of two. In one pit, it is thought that one of the women was aged between 20 and 25, with one of the others being between 12 and 13 years old. These two warriors were found surrounded by more than 30 iron arrowheads, pieces of horse harness, iron hooks, knives, and animal remains. 
Also scattered around the burial pit were molded clay vessels and an incense burner dating back to the second half of the 4th century BC. This is all the more amazing as scientists have determined that the burial site of these two women had previously been ravaged by grave robbers. In the second plot, the other two sets of the remains were found untouched and buried in wooden graves cushioned by grass. Here lay a 50-year-old woman decorated with a heavily engraved gold-stamped headpiece embellished with floral ornaments and pendants. The last of our warriors is thought to have been aged between 30 and 35 and was found lying in a position as if she were riding a horse. She was equally adorned. With her was a large bronze mirror, two spears, and a glass bead bracelet. While fragments of similar ceremonial gear have been found before, these are the first remains to be discovered in such good condition located near the Don River, and with the headdress actually found on the head of one of the women. It is therefore the strongest evidence we have found that these Amazonian warriors did in fact exist, and were just as strong and fierce as they were suspected to be. An archaeologist said that parts of Stonehenge were there before humans. Stonehenge is one of the largest mysteries in the UK. Found in the Salisbury Plain, the Stone Circular Monument has invited plenty of questions throughout the years, with many tourists popping by to see the strange stone circle. No matter how popular the site has become, this wonder of the world has had many people asking why the stones were moved to a seemingly random hill in Salisbury and who put the stones there. Now, after years of research, some archaeologists believe they may have some more answers. Mike Pitts, an archaeologist who is just one of a few to have had the opportunity to carry out excavations at Stonehenge, is at the forefront of this 2018 research. He has suggested that the largest, most important stones at Stonehenge, known as Sarsons, could have been sat on that Salisbury hillside for millions of years, predating humans in the area. In the 1970s, archaeologists thought that the Sarsons did not naturally form on Salisbury Plain, but rather that the people who built the fascinating monument randomly chose this hillside and lugged the ginormous stones from Marlborough Downs, which sits 20 miles away. For decades, this was a prompt for many questions. Why would you move the stones so far when it would be far easier to build Stonehenge in Marlborough Downs? Though evidence found by researcher Mike Pitts could answer this question. Two of the stones, Stone 16 and Heel Stone, are not carved or altered at all in their shape. A much more fascinating characteristic is that when the stones line up, they match up to the horizon where the sun sets on the winter solstice and rises come the summer solstice. Thousands of years ago, stones that track the sun so nicely could have had quite the role to play. Stone 16 and Heel Stone are presumed to have had a great deal of significance to the nearby residents when the structure was built. Pitts's evidence that the stones have been here all along and were not dragged up the hillside is founded from two holes close to the stones. Close to the base of the Heel Stone, a hole 20 feet in diameter, was found. Pitts's theory is that this was once a hole with the Heel Stone inside it as it is too large to have been dug to support one of the stones forming Stonehenge as we see it today. Pitts believes the stone was excavated and placed higher on the same hillside, hence the odd hole. He stated, if you are going to move something that large, you would dress it before you move it. To get rid of some of the bulk, he continued, explaining that this suggests it has not been moved very far. The other noteworthy hole is one close to Stone 16, Similarly, to the hole by the heel stone, it is thought that the stones could have been moved to be higher and line up along the solstice axis, followed by the rest of Stonehenge. Further research has shown that the stones were formed in the tertiary period, and Pitts explained that research planned for the future using radiocarbon dating will hopefully show features we associate with Middle Neolithic ritual features, proving our theories correct. There are plenty of theories floating around about Stonehenge, from where it came from and what it was for, with some even suggesting that it was a burial site during the late Neolithic period. Evidence for this also uses the two holes mentioned above, as well as bones around the site too. Other theories focus on the way they align not only with the sun, but the moon and stars too. 
suggesting some sort of celestial significance. Another popular idea surrounds healing properties. With so many ideas and theories around, it can be tricky to differentiate the archaeological from the speculatory. The age of Stonehenge and how it was built may continue to be a mystery, though it does feel as though we are continuously uncovering more and more. Perhaps in the not-too-distant future, we'll find a more concrete answer. But what do you make of these interesting discoveries? Be sure to let us know your thoughts in the comment section below and help us by growing this community while working to solve these unexplained mysteries. Thank you for watching and don't forget to subscribe for more videos.